Yo. What up? Here we are on this Raging Blast 2 again. And um Yeah, I didn't didn't record any actual audio. Like, you know, commentary. Got the game audio clearly, you can hear it. I could tell you've really become a warrior. But it was like, man, I'm finally playing as one of my favorite characters, future Gohan, and I completely messed up my audio. Right here I paused to um make sure I was recording. I do that sometimes. Anywho. Starting off here, we, we had to run base form for quite a few stages. It wasn't the best thing ever. I was trying to figure out combos. Trunks didn't want me to figure out my combos, but guess what? I figured them out anyway. Anywho. Getting them them feet. I would say I was giving them the hands, but for some odd reason, future Gohan only fights with one hand. <laughs> but he has to. They're like, yeah, we're not going to put him in here with just one arm, but we're going to make sure that you fight with just one arm. It's like, what? You guys slow? Maybe. But you're fighting with one arm, ain't you? It's like we refuse to remove the other arm, but we'll make you fight with just the one. Anywho. Let's see how this here goes. It's like I'm watching it with you. I recorded this earlier day and I don't even remember what I did in it. I'll figure it out as I go. Why do they always make the dang uh, big characters have these high pitched voices? You would think with how big this cat is, he's, he's <laughs> big the cat. You would think how big he is, he'd have a, a deeper voice than that, you know? I guess it's some kind of inside joke. With the, the, the friggin' horrible dubbing studio, maybe. Oh yeah, whenever we have a fat character, we give him these high-pitched voices. That's what we do. Why? Because you're retarded. Anywho, I'm still doing basic Gohan stuff here because, you know, until I can get that other super and go Super Saiyan, you're just doing the basic stuff like this Super Kamehameha. See, I was testing out the amount of damage I could do off of that. And here I was just doing it just because he was doing the finish sign. He was still stuck in the animation. I said, let me throw this ultimate. Now the future is saved. Oh, goodness. It's like I'm doing Dane Director's commentary. Well, here for this shot. See, um, I was a little high. Had just did a little cocaine and, um, that's why the camera's shaking a little bit. I, I was moving around a little bit. You know, I couldn't sit still all that well. But, um, <laughs> this is how it went. Anywho, as you see, this stage here, they want you to go up against Goku, Kakarot. And they had a perfect action list, which I looked at. I was like, oh, yes, right. You don't get to see the perfect actions until after you do the perfect actions. Genius. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me, let me go ahead and get this stage a shot, you know, get this stage a try. Then once I got on the stage, Careful. guess what the first perfect action was? Give me your best shot. Can I really protect the future if I become Super Saiyan Give it a second, it'll show up. Perform transformation. I was like, oh, flip, I don't have a transformation. What am I to do? What am I to do, game? I don't have a transformation. But that's what you want me to do. And I was like, you know what? I'll come back. <laughs> I'll come back and battle you later. So I went over here. As you can see, there was Piccolo and Gohan waiting for your boy. And I believe this one was just on um, the highest damaging combo, if I'm not mistaken. 
Wipe that pathetic look off your face. I'll beat some sense into you. I hoped I'd see you again, Piccolo. Let's do this. Mm hmm. That's what it was the highest damaging combo, and then they were like, um. They were like, oh, but you can't. Can't really do supers. We've nerfed the super damage. Slap that away. Thought you was gonna hit me with that special beam cannon? Nah, bruh. Here's a super Kamehameha. Now see, it was not very damaging, but it felt good. You know, it always feels good when you slap away somebody's super move and then throw yours. That's the only reason why I did it. See, I was still trying to figure out the perfect way to combo here. So I want to maximize that damage. Which, um, Future Gohan has a, a great ability. Like his little circle move, that um, that unique ability right there, that is good. You can either use it to get away, you know, make some space, or you can just use it as a combo extender. Because once you do it, you can drop back down with your feet, you know. Hit him with that bam, boom, bam. Got to do your thug fizzle, you feel me? He was trying to get away. And I was like, nah, bro, you're not getting away. Piccolo's out here talking about, I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, nah, bro. Taste defeat. Man, I want to see how long that Masenko will charge up. So I just did it. Whole time I was just testing John. Then I went to Raging so I could try and get the longest combo possible. But you know me, always messing up. See, I was testing how many hits I could do before doing my stun hit. And the answer was two. And you do that, bam, throw that down, and then I messed up. <laughs> I told you, I was learning. Bam, there we go. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Throw it down. Drop with the feet. Yeah. 20 hits. Wasn't about how many hits I could do those, about the damage, but still. It looked cool, was the point. There were no androids. Would I have walked a different path? I don't know what's going on with Gohan's hair. Cause it's like flat all the way around. His edge up is real clean. <laughs> but then he just got random hair hanging down. Also, that's the move right there. Intercept is great. Yeah, but Gohan somehow found a barber while running away from the androids. He's like, oh man. I need to get lined up, <laughs> nice and clean. Are you want me to do anything about this extra hair that's just sitting here? Nah, I'ma let it hang down. Like, yeah, give me, give me that smooth cut all the way around, except for right there on the top and the front. I'ma let that hang down. You sure it looks a little weird? Nah, I'ma let it hang down. Just, when I go Super Saiyan, it's gonna look real fly. He's like, Super what now? D don't worry about it. Just cut my hair, man. Just get to cutting. Anywho, I was putting the, putting these on the dang super on. It's the only extra super he gets is the intercept for both base form and Super Saiyan. But that move is sick. It's like one of my favorite moves in the game. All of my favorite moves are counter moves, though, because I just like counters. It's my thing. It's probably why I'm such a big fan of Dead or Alive. Trucks. Countering people's it's attacks really is just fun. Thank you, Gohan. But yeah, we got this right here. It's gonna be smooth. Just, just wait. Just wait till you come down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bam! <laughs> he never stood a chance against me, boy. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bam! Trunks too. But it's like, you know what? I'm waiting for to come out this water. Hey, Trunks was good. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Bam! <laughs> he never stood a chance. He had the theme playing and everything. He thought he was hot out here in these streets. I was like, I kicked him right in his jaw. Oh, you want some too? Your hair got a little longer. Bam! But you still can't dodge the kick. Come on back out that water. Get it again. Get it again. Bam! You're going to see a lot of this move. Also, a lot of me failing to do it because sometimes I was, I was getting screwed over. Like I waited for him to come back. Oop. Ah, man. He waited too long. I had to use my wild sense. Yeah, I need some key. I was like, oh, I said, hold on. Give me a second, Trunks. I'm going to get this key. And he's just standing on that wall for a little bit. Or rather get stuck in the wall. Will I charge up? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Bam! Glorious, ain't it? It's like, get stronger, Trunks. Learn how to dodge a kick. You saw me out here. I was dodging all kinds of moves. You couldn't dodge that one kick, Trunks. Get your game up. Anywho. That settled that. And it was like, oh, man. I still haven't turned Super Saiyan yet. And I need the Super Saiyan to do my perfect actions. Let me go and fight these Cell Juniors. I'm sure they're what I need to destroy to become a super de duper Saiyan. It's going to be great, trust me. That's what I said. That's what I thought. You have to wait until the battle. The battle. You have to wait until the battle's over to see if I was correct. Here we go. Get ready for the next battle. I accidentally hit the button again. That happens sometimes, you know. It's what I do. Occasionally, I hit the button again and mess up. It's fine, though. Like over here. Yes, over here. Now, I wanted to do my dodge stuff fizzle on this Cell Jr., but it was, it was not cooperating with me. Also, the game wasn't cooperating with me. I was having a rough time for a little bit there. So I said, screw it. Let me just wipe this one out. Maybe the next one will try and attack me so I can do my thug fizzle. Bam, hit him with the kick. He was done. Made him never breathe again. Hit him with that Tony Braxton kick. <laughs> you know, he never breathe again. Anywho. There he is. There he is. Bam. That was necessary. Special Beam Cannon smacked it out the way. He thought he was cold. Thought he was real. I accidentally put on the Wild Sense instead of throwing the Masenko, which made me feel dumb, but, you know. Putting on a dodge always comes in handy. It's fine. And just speed up there. For some odd reason, they turn me backwards. I hate it when it happens. But check me out. Check me out. Super destructive wave. I know somewhere in here I said the super destructive wave is supposed to be like a key blast type of move from Piccolo. Like that song, that that move is supposed to be the explosive wave, if I'm not mistaken, you know, but it's whatever. It's future Gohan. He fights with one arm, even when he has two. He gets blasted by Cell Juniors. It's all good. Boom. Kicked him out of there. Wasn't worth keeping around. Move on to the next Cell Junior. Out here chilling in green. But check me out. Had him with that combo. Bam. Super Kamehameha. Eat away two and a half bars. Good stuff. Let me power up. Right here, right there. I was like, I'm charged up. I'm charged up. I was like, let me hit him with a combo. Try to save this key. Hit the next one with a super counter. I mean, how right at the start. You ready for me? Super coming at me high. Missed. 
but I still got that S plus rank, so it was all fine. It all worked out in the end, you know. That's how these things do. And I got that Super Saiyan Future Gohan. It was time. Time to go and fight my Faja. And that's what I did. It's like, oh yeah. Let me get Goku these hands. I was considering changing something here and I decided not to. I believe that's what's happening here. Because I sat on it for a little bit and I said, nah, I'm good. I'll just get ready for the next battle. And that's what I did. Careful, I'm a Super Saiyan 2 now. Give me your best shot. Can I really protect the future if I become Super Saiyan 2? I was also saying some things about how his lines always talk about him protecting the future or saving the future. And it's like, for him, Future Gohan was before the time machine, you know? For him, it wouldn't be protecting or saving the future. It would just be his own timeline. So it's weird that he has all these lines that mention the future, you know? But anywho. Had to hit him with that. Everybody can get it. Now this had me on a freaking time limit, right? And Goku kept getting his health back. And then I had to do the perfect actions, which I was on. Not getting entirely right, because Goku likes to dodge my combos. Well, not dodge the whole combo, but he likes to hop out of my combos. He also likes to block a lot. So things were getting rough trying to get this 10 hit. You like that right there, he just likes to get out of my combos. Wild sense, so I threw a couple of key blasts first. I was like, you know what, I can block that. I couldn't. See, I was constantly trying to get that 10-hit combo, and then I said, wait a second, time's almost up. It was unfortunate. So what I did here, uh, I, I tried quite a few more times, as you can see. So I got this on freaking quadruple speed. So we can just zoom through all this. I'll probably add some extra music when I'm done doing the editing on this video right in there. So you don't really have to worry about um, just hearing all the extra fast grunts and junk. You know, I kept going and I kept messing up, so I kept retrying until I finally got it. We should be on the last one. I finally started getting the combos right, see? It was like boom, 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 boom. There we go. Back at regular time, which means this is the final attempt. Hit him with that. Boom. Bam. Kick him up. Hit him with them little kicks. Do a little unique attack. Boom. And there it was. I was set. Bam. Do my best. And there you have it. Mission complete. And most of those L's came from me trying to get a, a decent combo out. And then after getting the combo, I, I kept trying to do my intercept because I wanted to finish him that way. And it only worked that one time. Anywho, boss battle time. Of course, the boss battle is 17 and 18. Why wouldn't it be? Who else will we go up against as a boss? Boss. Okay. And here I was just adding the Emperor's dignity. Because of how much it boosts your super attack. It's a great addition. You will not win! What? You again? 
I was out here like, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. And I'm going to go hard. Got to hit that transformation just right. Hyper with Senko. Special Beam Cannon. I was just trying supers at this point. This is bad. I didn't remember what all my supers were outside of the dang intercept. And then I brought out 18. With her extra heavy eyeliner. She was out here thinking she was special. She thought I was trying to smash. Well, guess what? She was right. Anywho, had to charge to max. I wanted to do my counter. Didn't quite get the chance, so I got a little distance, and then she ran. So I had to chase her up into the sky. Had to fly in the sky. Anywho, I was just waiting to get an opportunity to do my counter, because that's what I do. She was really working my nerves. I couldn't tell if it was because she was annoying or because she was a woman. And I know what you're thinking. Those words mean the same thing. Anywho, let's continue this before I get canceled. I was like, I want to hit her with my ultimate. It's going to be great. Had to smack her in the butt. One good time. Nice equal rights butt smack. Now the future is saved. Yeah. That bit's crazy. He has his scar and stuff, you know. But they refuse to remove that arm. It's like, bruh, future Gohan doesn't have the scar until he's lost the arm. Like he gets that scar the same time he loses an arm. It was a, it was equivalent exchange. You give him an arm and you get a scar. Yes, that did have multiple meanings. <laughs> losing an arm and getting the scar. Anywho. Moving on. Moving on. Flip. Now I have to look it up. Because <laughs> now it's bothering me. Because I'm going off of my classic freaking knowledge and I haven't seen the history of Trunks in years. I don't believe he had a scar until he lost that arm. Right? I'm going to have to fact check myself. So that's me from a different future, huh? Huh? Who are you? So anywho, we've got the cool Gohan versus the whatever Gohan. See, the, the problem is Ultimate Gohan could have been the cool Gohan, you know? He showed up and showed out and then he got utterly destroyed. He got destroyed for the plot. You know what I'm saying? Because he should have... He should have beaten Super Boo, right? Super Boo shouldn't have stood a chance. You know? He, I mean, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> Gohan was destroying him. And he's like, oh yeah, let's let's let them fuse in the go tanks and, and fight Super Bowl. It's gonna be great. There were no androids. Would 
I have walked a different path? You know what you get? When you take a cocky saying, well, a cocky half saying, and a couple of stupid half sayings, and a Namekian, you get what you deserve. 